So welcome everybody to this latest video on 162 Maths and in this video we'll be going over some GCSE revision using some AQA higher GCSE questions on algebraic fractions. Now we'll include a copy of the questions in the description below for you to have a go at before working through the video and going through the answers. So getting started on this AQA topic test higher on algebraic fractions. So looking at question one, all we need to do is just simply add these two fractions together. So again, what you need to do is make sure the common denominator is the same. So our common denominator here is going to be AB. And to get AB, we need to multiply this first fraction by A and the second by B. And if we do that, what we get is we get 2A squared and we're going to get 3B squared, which then gives me, if I combine those two, I get 2A squared plus 3b squared all over ab and then just got to match up which of these is gives me that answer and it's going to be our fourth one. For question 2 it says subtract 3x over 2y minus 5x over 4y so again what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this first fraction by 2 so it gives me 6x over 4y and then minus 5x over 4y and then combine the numerators together in which I get x over 4y which is our third option. With question three, it says uh, simplify fully 6DE over 15DE squared. So again, simplifying the numbers, I divide both numbers by three, in which I get two and five. The Ds cancel and the E cancel at the bottom, just leaving me with, uh, well, actually, uh, that E's cancel there. So I end up with two over and it's going to be 5e, which is our fourth option. With question four, what we've got to do there is now again we just do the same principles when we're dividing fractions, we flip the second fraction and turn it into a multiplier. So that then becomes this. Now if I join those two things together, I get 2xy over x squared, y squared, and then I can simplify. So I could take an x from there and an x from there and a y from there and a y from there, leaving me with a final answer of 2 over xy, which is our second option. Moving on to question 5, it says simplify fully, and then again, just got to multiply those. So remember, we multiply numbers with numbers, letters with letters, so that's going to be 24x squared y cubed over, and it's going to be 24x squared y. So then, cancelling things down, the 24s cancel. The x squared cancels and the y will cancel with that to leave me 2. So it's just going to leave me a final answer of y squared. For question 6 it says that a class is asked to simplify 9x squared minus y squared over 3x minus y. And says so this is Maya's answer. So what she's done there, if you're trying to order out what she's done, is she's taken each of these two parts separately. So what she's done for this bit here is she's done 9x squared over 3x and then she's cancelled the x, cancelled the 3, leaving her with 3x and then with the pink part she's done minus y squared over minus y which leaves her with positive y and then just simply added those two things together. So when the teacher reads out the answer, Maya ticks that her answer is correct. It was she right to, so even though she got, so Maya got the correct answer But working out is wrong. Is wrong. And what she should have done is she should have factorized first. Well, let's just write she should factorized first. And then cancelled the common factors. So what she should have done is done uh, 3x minus y, 3x plus y, all over 3x minus y, and that cancels with that, leaving her with the same answer, but again, that's what she should have done. Moving on to question 7. So question 7 says, all we've got to do is factorise. Now, what you should be able to do is spot that this is a difference of two squares or a dots question. So what do you have to square to get x squared? Well x, what do you have to square to get 16? That's going to be 4. 1's a plus, 1's a minus, and it doesn't really matter what order you put those two brackets. 
For question 7b, it says hence simplify. So what we've got to notice is that this numerator is our part in part a. So that's part a. So what you should do is write x squared minus 16 over 2x squared minus 5x minus 12. So the numerator then becomes x plus 4, x minus 4. And if you factorize the bottom, now again, I'm not going to go through the process of factorizing this. I don't know why I've just crossed that out. I should have highlighted it. Uh, but there's a video which I'll attach a link to how we do that. And there we go. So if you factorize this, then what we should end up with is uh, 2x and we should end up with 2x plus 3 rather and x minus 4. In which from this, the x minus 4 cancel out, leaving me the final answer of x plus 4, 2x plus 3. Now moving on to question 8, it says that the area of the square is 3y squared plus y minus 2 centimetres squared. Um, work out the expression uh, for the width of w in terms of y. Now in terms of the area of this rectangle, so if I just write the area, that's the length times the width, so that's w and 3y minus 2. Now it says that the area is this, so what I can then do is write 3y squared plus y minus 2 equals w of 3y minus 2. Now if I factorize the left hand side, which does factorize, so it gives me 3y minus uh, 2 and y plus 1 equals w 3y minus 2. Then if I take this over to the other side, I end up with 3y minus 2 y plus 1 over 3y minus 2 equals w and then they cancel out so w equals y plus 1. Now it is important you do include the w because obviously they're wanting w in terms of y. For question 9 it says that we've got an algebraic expression and it says simplifies to the expression of 3x minus 2 over 4x minus 1. Work out the values of a, b, c, d and e. Now this one is about comparing coefficients but recognizing that the top is a difference of two squares. So if it simplifies to be 3x minus 2 then that top needs to be 3x minus 2, 3x plus 2. Now the 3x plus 2 doesn't appear in our final algebraic fraction which means that the 3x plus 2 must be the bit that cancels. So what I then got is 4x minus 1 and 3x plus 2. Now if I expand the top, what I end up with is 9x squared minus 4. And if I expand the bottom, I end up with 12x squared and it's going to be plus 5x minus 2. And so all I've then got to do then is compare the coefficients. Now 4 can also be written as 2 squared. So therefore, a is the coefficient of x squared on the numerator, which is 9 b is the constant which is 2 not 4 then c is a coefficient of x squared which is 12 d is the coefficient of x which is 5 and e is the constant which is minus 2. Then moving on to our last question it says simplify this and again you should be recognizing that this is a quadratic along with this and when it comes to simplifying it means that they're basically going to factorize so I've got 2x squared minus 9x minus 5 which will factorize to give me 2x plus 1 x minus 5 and if I then went on to factorize 6x squared plus 11x plus 4 well that should factorize to give me 2x plus 1 and 3x plus 4 in any order. So what I then need to do is write that out. So I've got 2x plus 1 and x plus 5 over 2x plus 1, 3x plus 4. And you should be able to spot that these two brackets cancel, leaving me with a final answer of x plus 5 over 3x plus 4.